It's a piece of a jawbone that's just made us feel a lot older. Archaeologists in the Afar regional state in Ethiopia uncovering a bone with teeth about 2.8 million years old, 400,000 years earlier than previously thought. Joining us, paleontologist Yves Clapins, who back in 1974 was a part of the team that uh, found Lucy. Yes. Well, I was in Ethiopia actually as soon as uh, 1967, but I worked at that time in, in so southern Ethiopia, just at the border of Kenya and Sudan. And then we started uh, research in the Afar, uh, where this Joe has been found uh, in 1972, and, and uh, we found Lucy in 1974, as you say. Uh, 400,000 years earlier than, than previously thought. Does that surprise you? Not, not really, but, uh, you know, it's, it's important for, for research to, to make hypotheses. But uh, in science, an hypothesis is take, taken seriously only when you have a, a possibility of testing it and of, of having proofs of what, what he's saying. And um, having, having the bone, having the teeth, having the, the good dating of, of the, the whole it, It's just collection. a tiny piece of a jawbone with a few teeth. Will we get more information out of it? Well, uh, it's a tiny piece. For, for us, it's, it's a wonderful big piece <laughs> because having a, such a part of a jaw with five teeth, it's already a, a lot. Which brings up my next question, which is, it hasn't been assigned yet to a particular species. What's your thoughts yeah, on that? Well, well the, the, the thought is that uh, it, it could be the first species of the genus Homo, which means uh, the, the same genus as uh, our genus today. We are Homo sapiens. It's probably Homo habilis, but it's Homo anyway. And uh, you can see that uh, through the, the morphology of the teeth, because Homo, because of a climatic change, was obliged, obliged to eat meat, and this changed the, the morphology of the molars and premolars. And previously they were vegetarians? Pre previously they were mostly vegetarian, yeah. One final question for you, Yves When you see the progress that science has made, uh, do you feel as though we're going to know a lot more soon about what happened in those millions of years back? Well, you know, the, the, our obsession is um, at the same time the dating. We, we, we have to be uh, sure of the dating, otherwise uh, we are not uh, telling the story, we are telling stories. And, and uh, the other obsession is filiation. We were, you were speaking about DNA. And unfortunately, we don't have DNA of that time, and it's a pity because otherwise we could have understood uh, more quickly uh, who is the ancestor of, of whom. No, there's no DNA possible when they're that old? For the moment, not. The D DNA is, is still, um, this, this, well, is destroyed at that, at that time, but there, there, are, there are often miracles in, in paleontology and in the way the, the fossils are preserved. So we are still hoping to find one of these days, uh, just a piece of DNA, which would be better than nothing. It would be enough to go on. Yves Copins, I want to thank you for... for well, enough, maybe not enough. But. <laughs> Certainly a start. Yves Copins, many thanks for, for being with uh, us thank here. Thank you very much. On, on France 24.